In this video, I will share the graphics form and graphics conversion of Adobe Animate. First, create a new scene. There are several tools in the toolbar that we commonly use for drawing graphics. Commonly used line tools. Rectangle tool. Oval tool. Polystar tool. Let's first use the basic rectangle tool to explain the form of the graphic. In the previous videos, we introduced that graphics have object mode and shape mode. Now let's introduce them in more detail. The graphics I draw now using shape mode are also called basic graphics mode. Change the stroke color. Make the stroke size bolder. Graphics drawn in basic graphics mode do not participate in arrangement. I want to draw another graphic. Change the fill color. Change the stroke color. Draw another rectangle. Now I draw a green graphic on top of the red graphic. According to conventional thinking, these two graphics can be arranged. I can put the green graphic under the red graphic. But in fact, graphics drawn in basic graphics mode cannot participate in the arrangement. I move the green graphic out of the way. And you'll see that this part of the red graphic disappears. I moved the green graphic here. Move it away again. You will see that this part of the red graphic is eaten by it. Now we can be clear that there is only one level of basic graphics, and it can only exist at the bottom of the canvas. It cannot participate in the arrangement. Its strokes can be separated individually. It is not a whole graphic. I moved the stroke to the middle position. It can split red graphics. For basic graphics modes, as long as they have intersections or overlays between them, they will all be eaten or divided. Who gets to eat who between them depends mostly on who you move. Now I'm moving the red graphic. The red graphic is on top of the green graphic. But after I move the red graphic away, there is a blank area at this location. I then move the green graphic to the red graphic. A blank area appears again in the red graphic. Which graphic you choose to move, that graphic will appear on top. But when two graphics of the same color are stacked together, they will stick together. These two graphics become one graphic. This is the main feature of the basic graphics mode. Basic mode is particularly useful when setting animations. Let's take a look at the characteristics of the object pattern. Click on the rectangle tool. There is an object drawing button at the bottom of the toolbar. Click object drawing. Draw a rectangle. Now when I select this rectangle, you will find that this rectangle is different from the rectangle just painted in basic graphics mode. It has a very obvious border, which is this blue edge. When you move it, the fill and stroke are not separate, but are one and the same. The graphic drawn by object drawing is an overall graphic. I'll change the fill color. Change the stroke color. Draw another rectangle. When I remove the upper graphic, the lower graphic is unaffected. They can be arranged mutually. I now want to move the graphic below to the top. Right click. Select arrange. Select bring to front. I can also arrange it to the bottom. Select Arrange. Select Send to Back. Object drawing can be arranged and modified at will. Basic graphics mode and object drawing graphics mode have their own characteristics. Let's take a look at how they are converted to each other. I'll delete a graphic first. Select this graphic. Take a look at the Properties panel on the right. There are three buttons in the middle of the properties panel. These three buttons are expand to fill, create object, break apart. This graphic is in object mode, now I want to convert it to basic mode. Click break apart. This graphic is no longer in object mode, but in basic graphics mode. We can move the stroke individually. Fill can also be moved individually. Fill and stroke are separate. Again, if you want to move the entire stroke of a graphic in basic mode, you can double-click the stroke, 
This will allow you to move the entire stroke. This graphic is now a basic mode graphic. But now I want to convert it into object mode. Click fill, then double click to select the entire graphic. Click create object. The shape is now back in object mode. These two buttons are the two buttons for converting between object mode and basic mode. What is the expand to fill button used for? Let's try it. Select graphics. Click expand to fill. You can't see any difference between expand to fill and break apart on the surface. Let's take a look at what's the difference between them. Select this stroke. You'll see that its color property is in the fill color. When I select expand to fill, it automatically converts stroke to fill. Click the stroke and it will select the entire stroke instead of just one stroke. Its fill color is red and there is no stroke. Click on the green color and it will have a green fill color and no stroke. Expand to fill looks no different from break apart. But their essence is different. Expand to fill will cancel all strokes of graphics and convert all graphics to fill. Break apart separates the stroke into fill and stroke. 